We're with head coach Sam Walker after the Lions defeat Oklahoma Christian 97-85 in the opening game, kicking off a big weekend for the Lions with a good win in front of a decent-sized home crowd. How do you feel about big the... Big smiles. Uh, yeah. Big smiles different than, than my, my schedule poster around town that uh, shows me pretty upset. Uh, uh, I, I feel... Uh, I feel real good about how we played. I, th I think we beat a good team. I think we beat a team that's gonna, gonna win a lot of games. And I think we did it. Uh, we did it on the boards. We didn't turn the ball over and we shared the basketball and that gives us an opportunity to, uh, to get a lot better. Shooting percentage wasn't necessarily phenomenal at 45.1, still pretty good, but 20 offensive rebounds off of that does that kind of offset those percentage numbers? It, it does. It does. In the game of basketball, you can't. The, the person that wants the ball to go in the bucket the most is the guy that shoots it. And there's no, once it releases out of it, it's a good shot. There's nothing you can do about it. But what you can control is how hard you go after the offensive boards and how well you protect the ball and don't turn it over. And we've told our guys, uh, with all our teams over the years, hey, if you don't turn it over and you kill them on the offensive boards, you're allowed to to miss a few shots. And then those nights that you're hot, you can really put some points up. We scored uh, scored 97 points without without shooting a really high percentage. You shoot a high percentage and, and you get in that 110, 120 mark. Only six turnovers to 14 assists on the night as well, including six assists from Malik Albert. Uh, sharing the ball well and taking care of it too. Yeah, I, I thought our big guys did a good job of setting screens and, and making people available. And uh, and then and then our guards protect the ball and they, they really look for each other and uh, that makes you really really hard to guard but I, I thought they were hard to guard they put us in a bind every time would extend that lead into double digits they found a way to get it back to five they had really good shooters they had guys that put it on the floor and then they had a really good seven footer in the middle that uh, I thought Dorian Armstrong did a really good job of neutralizing him now speaking of Dorian Armstrong 10 points and 12 boards for a double double off the bench as well as Malik Albert off the bench 26.6 boards and six assists you don't see numbers off the bench like that. Very no, often. no, you don't. And I think I think when you talk about, I, I think we're going to continue to see, see that as as we talked about when you have eight solid players the way we do, it's really hard to find out who who you want to start. I think the next time someone comes off the bench, it may be Montrell Little that scores twenty points off the bench, or maybe DeAndre Carson or Javon Austin or uh, you know some of those guys that started. So it, it's it's a really luxury to have those guys be able to watch and see how the game is being played and, and to watch for two or three minutes and then be able to get in and get into a rhythm. Two and a half minutes into the interview, five questions in, we haven't even talked about Trey Seymour, 21 points, eight boards, three assists and three steals, leading scorer for the night. What yeah, a great performance. He, yeah, he, he and and, uh, and Malik both, uh, they were really hard for them to guard, but what made it so, you know, their availability to be able to do what they want is because DeAndre Carson and Javon Austin, our other two guards, are so solid and they don't turn the ball over and they're looking for them and putting them in, in good situations. So I, I thought all four of our, our, our guards played really well. And then we played the last five minutes of the game with all four of them in the game and kind of went small ball. Uh, pretty good Newman team on the schedule tomorrow. We're about to go watch them play uh, against Cameron. Quick turnaround, turn in at noon tomorrow. What are the challenges and opportunities that that presents? Rest, rest, rest. We just got to get we got to get off our feet. We got to watch them and, and find out what they can do. But when when you play a game in in the late afternoon evening the way we did, and then you turn around and play at noon, it's all about you. You know, it's not all about you. Can't really do a, a, a in depth scouting report and know everything that they do. We've got to execute well. We've got to be solid. We've got to talk about we, us, and our, and get the I and me completely out because I think it's going to be two teams with tired legs and the team that plays together and then finds. Uh, the energy to play the hardest would probably be the, the most successful. Even though it's the first weekend of the year, do these quick turnarounds prepare you for tournament-like situations? Yeah, oh, t uh, totally, totally. You have to. And I, I don't know why we don't do it more, and I don't know why we don't do it in, in conference a little bit more. When it comes to, to playoff basketball, you gotta you got to win two or three games and, and you know, three games in four days and stuff. And so it really prepares you to, to be able to do those types of things. I, I wish we did it more. All right, well, we'll get some rest tonight, and we'll talk to you after All the right, game. enjoyed it. Go uh, Lions. Newman tomorrow. Go Lions.